Hey, hi, hello. So I am here to start a weekly vlog. We're going to try doing weekly vlogs every week in October because I have a lot, and I do mean a lot, of books to read for October. So today is actually September 28th, but I thought that I would just go ahead and start the vlog here so that I have some actual footage between now and the I think it'll come out on the second so I am currently working on in September House of Earth and Blood which is the first Crescent City book this is also um part of my project someone did request that I read this so I'm reading it I am just at like 45-ish percent, not quite 50%, but I'm almost to part two or through part two and to part three. So I am almost 50% through this book. It is about an 800 page book and I am enjoying it. A friend, um, shout out to Jan, she gifted me the audio for this which is only available on audible so i am getting through it much quicker than i thought i would um if i was reading this on my own it probably because of how small the type is and because i read much slower book wise it would probably take me at least a week to get through it but i am getting through it in about probably i'll be done with it tomorrow and i really started listening to it today so there's that. So that is what I am currently reading. I am currently reading Crescent City. Um, again, for a project. So that will be in a separate vlog of its own. I am also, since we're about to start October, the first spooky book that I will be picking up is Hidden Pictures. I'm not going to start this probably until tomorrow tomorrow is thursday so today is a wednesday tomorrow is thursday the 29th and that is when um the hollow weekend readathon officially starts because the hollow weekend readathon spans from every, it's every weekend in october but it starts on thursday and runs until sunday so our readathon officially kicks off tomorrow so I will be picking up hidden pictures as I believe it is I think the prompt is Halloween colors on the cover or something um this basically hits a prompt for every single readathon that I am doing um but I probably won't read much of this I probably will only read the first couple of chapters just to get a jump start and then um like probably the first like two chapters just to make sure that I'm not going to DNF it I'm going to give it two chapters and if I'm sucked in then I'm going to continue it um but this month I have 33 books on my TBR so I am trying to just do the thing you know what I mean at least 32 books on my TBR because I haven't even played my Gilmore Girls game yet as of filming this clip so I don't have time to piddle around with books so if it's not going to grip me within the first couple chapters then it's not going to get read in October is basically what's going to happen everything will be a soft DNF unless I get like very 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 far into it and then I'm like you know and I'm like really DNFing it but if it's just that it's not gripping me in this moment it will be a soft DNF I will come back to it later so hidden pictures that's what it will be I will read the first two chapters tomorrow and then try to finish up Crescent City um because that book actually does hit some other prompts or some prompts for some other readathons that I am doing this month and those readathons don't officially start until Saturday so that's it that's it that's it that's it so and I'll see y'all in the next clip hello it is Sunday um October 2nd and I've not been good at keeping up with this vlog so this may be the last clip for this specific vlog. So I did finish Hidden Pictures. I finished this on Friday. Technically it was Saturday when I finished this. So technically I finished it yesterday. I finished it very early in the morning at about 4 a.m. Since I was doing some, or 3 a.m. Since I was doing some sprints with Crystal. I do not have footage of that because I did not think to take any. But... That is what we read. Hidden Pictures. 
Um, I'm giving this five stars. Best thriller of the year. Um, it's a thriller horror heart hybrid, but it's definitely the best one that I've read all year. Um, it knocked The House Across the Lake by Riley Sager out of the park. I really did like that book, um, and I gave that five stars. I also gave Stay Awake. I believe that was by Megan Quinn five stars, but this one, if it was... If it was 2021 and we were still doing six stars, this one would get a six star. Um, the synopsis for this is essentially that we are following our main character. She is a recovering drug addict. She's been clean for 20 months and she, uh, her sponsor helps her to get a job as a nanny and she discovers a lot of things while nannying um from this child drawing pictures there are pictures in this book i did listen and read it so i did use the audiobook um the audiobook does describe the pictures but i highly recommend having the physical or the kindle book in front of you while you are listening because it just enhances the experience so that's that. I also did end up finishing House of Earth and Blood. I ended up finishing that on Friday, I think. Um, I'm not going to talk a lot about that in this vlog because that is for my project. Um, if you have not seen that announcement video, there is one on my channel. Um, it's about two minutes long. And so there's that. Also, um, I gave that one five stars. But that's really all I'm going to say about it because I do talk about it more in a vlog that will be coming soon also i managed to get three videos up this week so can we cheers me for that because that is an accomplishment so yes right now i am doing sprints with rainy and Brittany. i don't know if there will be any more updates today or not um i'm currently working on my second um book for the month which is amari and the night brothers i am listening i'm kind of hybrid reading it um this is a super cute book i am pretty far into it over 50 percent at this point this is a middle grade book about a little girl who um discovers that she has magic her brother is missing and she goes to a magic school that's i don't want to tell you much else than that because i don't want to like ruin anything it is a fantasy adventure it is um compared to nevermore and also a problematic series about a boy with a scar or a lightning shaped scar so that is what it is compared to i've never read nevermore but i can say that it definitely gives me the vibes and the feeling that i got reading hp as a child so um when i finish this i will be reading it with Ari and I do have the second one as well so I will be picking that up when I'm done with this um so okay they love them I know they love you too that's why I did this because I thought this was rock on but apparently this is that's rock on yeah I thought this was rock that's on that's I love you but this is rock on, and this is I love you. Yeah, okay. Is it I love you, guys. Okay. Mom. Yes. And when Brittany gets back on the sprint, I'm going to do this. Okay. Because I love her. Sit too. down. So that is really all of the update that I have at this moment in time. And so I will see y'all in the next clip. Hey, hi, hello. So I just wanted to come on here really quick because I realized that I do not have a closing clip for this week's vlog. So for this week's vlog, I ended up finishing Crescent City, a house of blood and earth, earth and blood, something like that. Um, I finished, I gave that one five stars and I'll talk about that in a later vlog because that has its own vlog and then i finished hidden pictures which i gave it five stars really like i'd give it a six star um and best thriller slash horror book of the year for me and the last book that i finished was amari and the night brothers which is the first in the amari series and i gave that one also five stars so 
that's all. I just wanted to come on, give my final ratings, and let y'all know that I will see you next week.